Why do 80% of tsunamis start with an earthquake? What made the 2004 tsunami so devastating? Let's break down the science behind this historic event. On December 26, 2004, the Earth shook beneath the Indian Ocean. A massive 9.1 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of Sumatra. So strong, it's one of the largest earthquakes in recorded history. But how does an earthquake cause a tsunami? Here's the science. The Earth's outer shell is made up of giant plates that move slowly over time. When two of these plates suddenly slip past each other, huge amounts of energy are released. In 2004, the Indian plate slid under the Burma plate in a violent jolt, shifting the seafloor by up to 20 meters. This sudden movement displaced a colossal amount of water, sending waves speeding across the ocean at jet plane speeds, up to 500 miles per hour. In deep water, these waves are barely noticeable. But as they approach land and the water gets shallow, the waves slow down and grow taller. Within hours, giant walls of water crashed into coastlines in over a dozen countries. The destruction was massive and the loss heartbreaking. Understanding the science behind tsunamis helps us prepare and stay safe. Nature's power is incredible, and by learning about it, we can help protect ourselves and others. Thanks for watching. Stay curious and stay safe.